Welcome back to the vlog. Tuesday today. Uh, before I talk about today's session, let's talk about yesterday. Last night I did strength and conditioning. Doug had sent me two sessions. Firstly, a strength and conditioning session, uh, working on vertical strength and speed, which has some great exercises in. And then a short swim land training session using the bands and some bits and pieces. So that was really good. My arms definitely feel tired today, so it was definitely uh, it was definitely working. And I'm kind of very aware that I don't actually ever record any of the kind of band stuff I do. So I'll try and make an effort to do that this week because I've got another couple in the schedule. Uh, it's not long now to the pools open in the UK, which is brilliant. I'm looking forward to getting back there because whilst the whilst the band stuff is all well and good. I'm very conscious that the first race is only a couple of months away, so I'm keen to get in the water, get the feel for the water again, and start to kind of get my, get my technique back. Today's session, I've got two. Um, the first is an hour's bike with the work section being four times six minutes at 295 watts with two minute 30 recoveries. And then from there, going into three 10 second sprints, um, erg mode off for those flat out efforts. <laughs> oh. Anyway, that'll be followed by a brick run, uh, 20 minutes. And the weather's gorgeous today, so whilst I like doing this kind of focus ses session on Zwift, because um, you know that you can hit the figures, you're not gonna get trouble with cars and things, the run I'll do outside for sure. Nothing else to say, I will come back after the first or second of the four minute efforts to let you know how I'm getting on. See you in a second. Oh yeah, that session done. It wasn't great to be honest. Just didn't know it my legs today. And coupled with that, my back's hurting again, which is really frustrating. Just over my kind of hip on the uh, Sorry, my pelvis on the right hand side at the back, which I haven't had for quite a few weeks, which is annoying and worrying in equal measure. <sighs> yeah, so I've just done the three sprints and the four times three at four times six at 290 was just a bit above me today for some reason. A couple were okay, but a couple really sucked. Anyway, no point moaning. I shall finish this couple of minute cooldown, lace my trainers up and go for a run, and that'll be a good test for my back. See you in a minute. Okay, so I've done about 15 minutes, and I mentioned on the bike that my kind of back was sore. It's not really caused me pain on the run, but it's my pelvis just feels really tight. Now I've got a guilty admission that is that I've not been doing my yoga for a, a week or two. I'm strength and conditioning, but not yoga. So I'm kind of kicking myself right now, and where my back is kind of painful or worse painful on the bike is kind of around here, that kind of region there, which is where it was before, it's on my own worst bloody my enemy, I know what I need to do, which is good, which means I don't have to faff about with trying to find out the right thing to correct it, but I'm annoyed that I've let it drift again, especially after last week's training was so good, so my plan is Tonight I was going to do some normal strength and conditioning stuff, but I think I'll change my plan now and really kind of hit the yoga and mobility stuff as opposed to the kind of strength and conditioning oh, instead of strength. So disappointing into to Tuesday, really. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow with an update on how things are feeling. Welcome to Wednesday. 
and today is the sixth race in the Zwift Duathlon series. So I've missed a couple of these, I think the first two, and then uh, I've missed a few, but I thought I'd do the sixth one just to see how it goes. Uh, my back's still tight, so before I get into it, um, my back was sore yesterday during the bike and I did some yoga last night <clears throat> and it's just really stiff, it's really, really tight. It seems to have just kind of uh, tightened up because I'm not been particularly um, kind of consistent with my yoga. So I've been doing stretching, but I've not been doing a lot of kind of really, really good mobility stuff. So I did a 15 minute session last night, which really kind of, I think showed me just how how tight my hips had got. And then I got up this morning and did another 10 minutes of yoga. So I need to get back to that kind of daily practice, which is, um, uh, which is kind of proven really to be what I need. Anyway, anyway, that's, that's, that's where we are. I need to keep on with that. So my plan for tonight really is just to see how this goes. Um, I have no real kind of targets or kind of aspirations for the race. It's just a case of how we go at this riff race. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, one thing I was thinking though is we're approaching April now and uh, road cycling's, sorry, cycling's going to be heading outdoors for the kind of long ride, the endurance ride especially, so I think it's time the leg hair goes, it's that time of year again. <laughs> uh, not looking forward to that, that peak, but anyway, it makes you feel faster. Um, and another exciting gear news, I ordered a pair of sunglasses today. Um, so I ordered a pair of Oakley radars because Oakley have got a pretty decent sail on at the moment. And I was talking with the idea of getting a uh, custom pair, but yeah, even with a discount, it's still ridiculous. And I'd probably lose them. Right, I'll put the race out as a separate video, but I'll come back right at the end and obviously do a bit of an update. Welcome to Sunday, last day of the week. Uh, unfortunately, although yesterday was lovely, today is horrible weather-wise. So uh, we were forecast kind of like possible showers. Um, what's actually happened is we've had really high winds all night. We've lost fence panels and it's just raining constantly. So although my uh, my uh, parameter pedals are charged, my computer's charged and I was all ready to go on the road, I don't really fancy it today. Um, it just looks horrible. Uh, so, Zwift it is, as you can probably hear. Bit of a shame, really. I was looking forward to getting on the road for a couple of hours. So, an hour and 45, uh, I'm just going to jump on Zwift, do something. Uh, I'm not sure what yet, um, what course wise. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll crack on and I want to come back in a bit and explain what's happened because I've been a bit lax with picking up the camera, if I'm honest, the last couple of days. Um, I've been doing the training, kind of. Um, but, but uh, yeah, I've not been taking a camera with me, so I need to catch up with what I've been doing. Anyway, Zwift first, then chat. So I'm an hour and, um, I'm an hour and 10 minutes in. Oh, I'm out of breath, using brain then. I've got lots of snacks today, because what I find is when I'm on the bike, I don't tend to eat anything if I'm in the shed, which is ridiculous, so. I thought today I'd come prepared, so I've had a bottle which I've downed. Uh, I've got a second bottle. I'm trying more 10 today. I've not had it yet. Well, I haven't had it before. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure at all. Anyway, I've not picked up a camera for a few few days, so I'm going to give it a bit of an update. It's been a bit of a stonking week, I have to say. I'm really pleased with how the week's gone. So Wednesday night, I finished off the Swift Duathlon feeling really good like first on the road in my age group on the bike and sixth on the run given that I hit the emergency stop and lost a couple of seconds just so pleased with that really pleased uh, yeah so Thursday I went out with 14 minute efforts 14 minutes two times 14 minutes at threshold pair 
and that was a lovely run really enjoyed that uh, 58 minute total workout got fastest kilometer of 2021 uh, 5 minutes 56 pace or 3, 3 minutes 41 for those who work in metric but just felt great really kind of nice uh, yeah just just felt really good and then in the evening I did a strength session like kind of eccentric strength session okay so this is video editing me unfortunately the last bit of footage that you saw somehow corrupted on the SD card when I imported it into the computer, which means I lost the last couple of minutes of me talking. The session was hour and 45 minutes on the bike. Felt good, no issues really at all. Uh, one thing I will say, however, is I really apologize for the sound quality of this vlog. I don't know what the problem with the um, with the GoPro was. I was using my GoPro and my mic in into the media mod, and for some reason it just sounds awful. So I apologize for that in advance, I think, from now on, I'll use my GoPro primarily for outside and use my, my Canon, which is a better uh, camera when I'm in, in the shed. Anyway, the week finished up really well. As I said, it was a great week. Really kind of enjoyed the whole thing. The training was really good last week. Um, feeling good. My running's coming on. You know, I've got, a, um, got another KOM on a Strava segment, which isn't a be all and end all, but the duathlon was a real weak highlight for me. Um, it's definitely shown me that my training is going in the right direction. Anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Sorry for a bit of an odd one. Um, just one of those things. Hopefully next week's video will be a little bit better. Anyway, that's it. Look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers, guys.